In this tutorial, I will show you how to add error bars to many different plot types in Origin. With this set of data, I will plot a column plot. The last two columns are my positive and negative error bar values. So I right click on each and set as Y error. Later from the graph, you'll have control over the positive and negative direction. I now highlight the entire worksheet and choose the column plot type. I'm now going to double click on the error bar values themselves. Plot details opens and you'll see I have control over the plus minus direction of each error bar value. C is just the positive, so we'll uncheck this checkbox, apply that, and then make our second error bar data set active, and uncheck the plus direction. Let's look at some additional data. Let's go ahead and recreate this graph, where here we have the error bar values filled as color as a band of color around the scatter points. So to do that, here we have our data set up. This is already designated as an error bar column. So I'm going to control select the data that I want to plot. And then I'm just going to plot as a line plus symbol. By default we get the error bar values, but when I double click to get into plot details, I can connect my error bar values by a straight line or a spline. Once they're connected, I can enable the fill area. And once that's checked, you have control over the color. We can also create a polar plot using the same data. So let's recreate this graph. We'll start with the data here, control select, come down and choose the polar plot. By default this template happens to plot as a line, but you can double click. So the first thing we can do is change the plot type to scatter. We can change our color, I think they had green. And the other thing they had to kind of reproduce that graph was, let's go back here. So choosing the error bars, we can have individual control over the color of the error bar itself. And I think in that particular graph they were only showing one direction. Let's look at another example. When you do statistics on columns of data, so I'm going to highlight these three columns, right click and do statistics on columns, Origin will generate, I'm just going to click OK. We will switch to the report sheet and here we have the mean and standard deviation. Now if we wanted to plot this data, we right click on the table heading here, descriptive statistics, and say create copy as new sheet, which gives us a plottable worksheet. Notice that the columns have already been designated. This is designated as a Y error column. Double click here will show you, expand the column width. So we're going to plot the mean and standard deviation here. And again, for complete control over your error bars, you just double click on them and that gets you into plot details on the error bar tab where you have full control. One last example to look at is 3D error bar support. Let's go ahead and recreate this graph. So this graph is a 3D scatter plot with the surface drawn through the points as well. The surface comes from the matrix of data but let's start by creating our 3D scatter with error. So if I highlight the columns and I click on plot 3D XYZ, there's a 
a 3D error bar option. So let's click on that. Now we have our scatter points with our error bars drawn. If you double click in plot details, we can expand it here. There's an error bar tab as well where again you have control here. You can choose the plus minus direction as well as specifying the data from which the error bar values come from. So let's go ahead and add the matrix of data to draw the surface. I'm going to double click on the layer icon which is one way to add data to a graph. I'm going to add from the matrix in the folder so that filters out what I see here in my available data. Now we're just going to move this over we're going to plot it as a color fill surface. Move that over there. Click OK. Now we can enable transparency. So if I double click, we can turn on transparency here so we can see the scatter points, all of our scatter points. And then we can click OK. So you see that Origin supports the error bar values for both the 2D and 3D plot types with full control over editing your error bar values. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.